kids, Teacher C here again. This week, we talked before, we're gonna have Easter on Sunday. So now, we're gonna make an Easter basket so you can leave for Easter Bunny to put the eggs and the chocolate for you. So to make this, we're gonna need a shoe box that we're gonna take the lead and cut. So we're gonna separate the box and the lead, okay? We need some paper. I separate crap paper. So if you have crap paper, this is a very good idea. You can use color papers, any kind of color papers, or you can take some white papers, crayons, and color your paper. So all possibilities, okay? So using these papers, we're gonna have to make a lot of fringes like this one like this one okay so how do you make it if you're gonna use the crap paper you're gonna take a piece like four fingers like this and cut cut like this when you open you're gonna have a very big fringe to glue in your shoe box. Or you can take a paper and fold in the middle, fold again, and make strips of papers like this. And then you're gonna cut and make fringes the same way. Don't forget to cut and separate them on the top, like this. If you want, you can fold like this too and cut the fringes like this. When you open, you're gonna have nice fringes like this one. And now we're gonna glue the fringes in the box. So get your box, get some glue, and let's start from the bottom. So you're gonna put a line of glue, okay? Take one fringe and glue on top of it, like this, okay? Then here, when he finishes the little fringes, you're gonna put glue again. And glue another fringe. And again. Okay, you're gonna make as many fringes, as many lines you want, because if it, it, it becomes very nice if you have many fringes. I have one here, a little more towards the end, so you can glue one more here. Another yellow one like this. Okay. If you want, you can get a thicker paper, fold in the middle, and then we're gonna glue half to the half to the outside and half to the inside, just to finish your fringes. Okay. So we put some glue here and inside. Remember to go all around the box, okay? With the top, we are going to make a little holder. So you cut a line of your box like this. Something like this. You can cut nice and neat. You can color or you can leave like this 
and with some tape you connect and you put here to hold your basket um, we're gonna use a stempler to fix in your box. I hope you like it. In the end, it's gonna look very neat like this all the way around. And it's gonna be a very nice thing for you to leave. And then the Easter Bunny come and put the eggs here. Okay, so happy Easter everybody. Goodbye.